Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're going to be focusing all around the abdominals. We're going to hit all regions, upper, lower, middle. You'll need minimal equipment for this one. Just a few resistance bands, ranging probably two different weights, a mat, and again, you can do it in most places. Enjoy. Remember to always please like, like the video, share, and comment. Thank you. We're performing a standing resistance band oblique turn. So we're going to have our two 25 kilo resistance bands attached to this rig. Obviously, if you're at home or somewhere else, you can use something very sturdy. It could be a tree. It might be maybe um, part of like a bench or something. So make sure it's very secure. Staying at the top, I'm going to pull it all the way down. Let's do this. Try and hold for a few seconds as you're coming down on that sway. Get a nice deep cut on the oblique. We're going for that kind of swimmer style V. You have a great time doing it. And again, you can do it in most locations. Enjoy. Hi, this exercise is called a wood chopper and I'm going to be using two 25 kilogram loop bands attached to a pole. Again, attach to something sturdy and you're good to go. The idea here is that we work the obliques. Let's go. Nice and simple exercise, easy to do. Enjoy. These are our resistance band bicycle kicks. So we've got our mat again, we're low to the floor. We're just using two resistance bands for this first one, 25 kilos each. Let's do it.
you are definitely going to feel that all the way throughout your abdominus. It's nice and tight. Practice it, take your time, you'll be fine. Enjoy. Hi, this is a resistant band at crunch. I'm uh, making use of two 15 kilogram resistant bands, the loop bands. Um, the idea is I'm lying flat on the floor, with my back on the floor, and pull the band with a crunch in action. Let's go. Again, we've got our mat, we've got our two 10 kilogram resistance bands, and we've attached it to something sturdy as, as it is. Let's do it. As you've seen, I've been using my hands to support my lower back ever so slightly. And on the uplifts that you scissor, try and hold for at least a few seconds. Enjoy. Okay, I'm going to be performing heel taps. Um, the difference here is I'm going to be using resistant bands to make the exercise a bit harder. Um, just remember, try and keep your obliques angling each time you do it. See you in a bit. to the end. If you have any questions, then please leave them in this comment section and we will do our best to respond. Please also note that you can help this channel by liking, subscribing and sharing. Thanks once again and we will see you in the next one.
Don't forget to fill that in your obliques and the build the middle abs as well. It's a really good exercise. I recommend it. Anytime you're doing this hill tap, use some bands. Just increases the difficulty of the, of the actual exercise. Enjoy. 